It was the tweet heard round the sports talk world when San Diego State's Adam Oema walked out of an NFL tryout last month saying that God told him to do it. And today he was a no show at what may have been his last tryout opportunity. Tennis reporter Bob Lawrence explains how NFL scouts view this and Moema's chance at an NFL career. These athletes are trying out in front of every NFL scout. And while it may not be the absolute last chance for Adam Moema, it's close. This is Pro Day, where college football players are put through the same paces as those who were invited to the NFL Combine. Moema off the right side, touchdown. A skilled running back, Moema left school as a junior for a shot at the pros. Then came the tweet, I will not be playing football, he said. God told him not to and walk out of the NFL Combine. God also reportedly told him to stay in a Florida airport for three days after leaving Indianapolis. That set off a firestorm on Sports Talk program. San Diego State running back Adam Moema leaves the combine before doing any combining. Move over, Tim Tebow. God has a new favorite player. Onlookers at San Diego State's Pro Day, like agent Howard Williams, said Moema didn't do himself any favors by not being here. It did leave some people with some, with some doubt about his abilities. So they need, he needed to be out here to show it, and he wasn't here to show it today, so we'll see what happens with him. Williams was here to see his client, Walter Casey, also a running back. Fred Lockett had a more personal reason. He was here to see his son Colin, an Aztec wide receiver. This is where you find the hidden diamond in the rough. And we, my, <laughs> which is my son Colin Lockett. <laughs> Lockett went through this before with an older son, Brett, who ended up signing with a pro team. Williams said it's still possible for Muema to be asked by the NFL to try out. Well, I hear he's a stand up guy. He's a great teammate. His teammates loved him. Apparently he just had his reasons and it's unfortunate. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.